It's like seven in the morning. And because you're late, we're watching Baby's Day Out anyway. No. <laughs> 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 Times were tough. So I sold my soul. Seven forty-seven a.m. on the I twenty twenty with Scrodrick laughing himself silly. We are in our marathon recording session that we have impromptu done. Uh, we recorded for five hours last evening, ending at midnight, and now we're back at it. Uh, <laughs> I'm Shaggy B. With me is Draco Funk. Say something to the people, Draco. I totally didn't oversleep. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> This is where we splice in the clip of me calling you, right? All right. Draco Funk promised us that he could record at 7 a.m. today. We finished recording at midnight. <laughs> and I know I was getting messages up till about 1 a.m. The time on a tradition is here. Probably like me and sleeps with his phone on vibrate. One of his kids' answers. <laughs> I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Damn it, Draco Funk. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and with us also is Roderick. And I did not sleep. I tried to go to bed right after recording, and I was up till 2 anyway, and got up around 6.30, so... Uh, so here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, we are trying a new streaming service today, which we'll tell you all about in a little bit. Um, but first of all, let's tell you what we're watching, which is the 1983 Knife Orang classic. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Dollar Store Harrison Ford. Titled Krull. Yeah. Draco Funk, would you like to tell us all about this movie? This movie came out July 29th, 1983. I wasn't doing anything then. I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has an IMDb rating of 6.1. So this will be way better than... Um, what did we watch? Oh, yeah, No Holds Barred is what we watched last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, set the, set the bar low. Yeah, this is as good as, like kind of the average first season next generation episode <laughs> which is ironic for how many star trek people are involved in this <laughs> that's kind of true yeah because we have lieutenant commander michael eddington from deep space nine as the star of this movie <laughs> oh that's right yeah that's right he, when he had yeah, hair kind of like harrison ford with hair i remember that now yeah, yeah. and uh we have james horner did the score for the movie which, I mean, that's going to oh, make it good by itself, yeah. See, yeah, like yeah so we there. should be expecting some good music. So, see, we, we, we have a young Liam Neeson in this. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, I this mean... Will great. This, this, this will be great. This will be fine. This better be f***ing good. <laughs> yeah, we, we won't have any dookie in this one. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're, that's your department. <laughs> Uh, uh, another time, another time, perhaps. But now I'm legitimately looking forward to this. I've watched, um, I watched the Welcome to the Basement review of this movie, um, some time ago, and uh, which, if you've never, if you've never watched that um, show on YouTube, it's a, it's a, it's a really cool, um, really cool movie review show that, that the guys from Blame Society, the, the beer and board games guys, do. Except. They, it's not like beer and board games where they're drunk and insane and yelling at each other and saying, you know, horrible things because they're drunk. It's, you know, it's two of the guys actually, you know, it's it's very Siskel and Ebert, but kind of with their own flavor to it. Um, it's it's really me interested in a lot of movies that I really see seeing some time. Um, but yeah, their their review of this was was fun and interesting, and uh, I've I've been curious since. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it is trying to take advantage of the hype around Star Wars to come up with something oh, along of those lines. So oh. <laughs> we're going to see a lot of familiar plot devices. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I so mean, it, have... It's been a while since I've seen this. I think the last time I saw it was like over at your apartment years ago. <laughs> yes. On my on my period correct RCA select division. Well not RCA, but okay, RCA developed the technology, but my particular player um is a Sears branded player, which was I think the first one released. And I say the first one released because it predates the one branded RCA that was the same design. Like Sears had their store model first, and that's the one I have. <laughs> Which is um, awesome. It's, awesome. it's a neat technology, you know. <laughs> it sucks, but it's cool that that was another possibility. So, yeah, I appreciate it the way I appreciate, like you know, like a steam locomotive or you know, or like a Model T. It's like I wouldn't want to like daily drive one and use it <laughs> for things that matter, but so cool to experience. Well, I had a neighbor that would restore antique cars, and I don't remember what it was he had, but it was like a 1924, some obscure model I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. And he was he would drive it around the countryside, like just you know for shits, and had somebody in like a new Toyota pull out in front of him, oh. and then slow down quickly, and he's like <laughs> he barely got stopped. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it was almost very bad because you know no seat belts. It's an open air car, you know. Yeah, barely any brakes, which was the problem well, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> man, hmm. yeah, and that's that's the problem with those things. Like you know, it's it's kind of my same argument with motorcycles. Like I think riding a motorcycle would be really fun mm -hmm. except, and economical. You know, <laughs> yeah, but you know you have to deal with other people on the road and animals uh -huh. and things and you know hurtling at 50 miles an hour on a thing with no protection around our modern world is not a thing that that I really want to do mm -hmm. yeah. and and you know like you know as 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 much as you know any car is safer you know I'm I'm still you know in the back of my head, still quite a bit reassured that my, you know, Ford Focus has a five-star crash test rating in every possible thing, you know, and and that it has, you know, the side airbags and all that stuff. And, uh, old people things. Uh, <laughs> uh, how those priorities change. It's like, no, I don't want a Camaro anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I hate modern Camaros anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, that too, but, you know, it's like... <laughs> Is part of the the safety thing, or is it just because they're ugly and you can't see out of them? Yeah, it's, uh, just, it's just that they're ugly and I can't see out of them. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like give me a Volvo instead. Absolutely, dude. I mean, about a two thousand and five ish like Volvo wagon with like five cylinder and a turbo and a five speed, and I would be fucking happy as a lark. Like that's the car I want. Except that they're fifteen years old now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And as my dad once said, stop buying old shit. Your dad said that? Yes. <laughs> and now he's the one wanting to hold on to the old shit, and I can't get him to stop. <laughs> Sam, of all people to say that? <laughs> yes, for my daily driver, because I kept buying like really old cars, and you know, I would buy them cheap and really wouldn't put much money into them, but then they would break down, and he's like, stop buying old shit. Now that he's old, he's like, this 03 Monte Carlo you have, you better keep it. It'll be worth money. No, it won't. Stop. No, it won't. No, it has the 3800 V6 that everything has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> but I like it. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> At least he admitted that much, you know? <laughs> yeah. I want it because I like it. But these voices you know, sound nothing. be driving anymore. My favorite part is that these voices sound nothing like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Scrodrick, and I'm like, <laughs> God damn it, what are you doing? <laughs> That's a little closer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get to hear him yell more than you do. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. He, he he behaves himself when I'm around. Uh huh. <laughs> 
Oh, just post God. a picture of Epic Beard Man. Yes. It, like, my dad is like Epic Beard Man without the beard. He has a mustache instead. But he has punched several people in the last ten years that he probably shouldn't have. But he, <laughs> he came out ahead, so it's all right. I mean, there's a part of me that admires that. You know, you get to a stage in your life where you just don't need to give up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like... Oh, what was it? Like, somebody... hi, f- you, boom, you know? <laughs> yeah, like somebody almost hit my uncle, like, in the road, and my uncle laid on the horn, and the guy got pissed and started following him, so dad got out of the car and walked up to the guy and punched him through the window. <laughs> like, the window was down. It wasn't like he punched through the glass, but he, you know, like, <laughs> punched him through the window. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, a guy, like, was pissed at him in Walmart for waiting for somebody to come out of a parking spot so he could park. Mm -hmm. So dad waited for him in like the cart corral area. (laughs) And when he walked in the door, he just punched him like, and the door greeter was like dumbfounded. (laughs) So yeah. (laughs) I just imagine like, was, was this, was this in our hometown? Yes. I mean, I mean, I, I, I probably still know some of the door creators. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I would pay money for the security camera footage of that. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> so but yeah, lately my dad's thing is uh right now he's in the nursing home for rehab. He had a hospital stay recently for a while. Uh you know, he's older with respiratory problems now that are finally yeah. catching up to him and uh he's been insisting on sitting bolt upright in his chair and then he'll fall asleep and fall face forward onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds horrible and like I talked to him after it and he's like I feel fine my nose doesn't even hurt because he broke his nose the first time he did it <laughs> so I'll give it time it'll hurt you know <laughs> uh, that's yeah so anyhow crawl <laughs> yes um, yeah we are watching this on crackle.com and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be up front with the people here. Here's the thing about what we're doing is that we don't know how the ads work on this website, but we do know that it's free. So we are running this with an ad blocker. <laughs> and if you encounter ads, it's your choice if you want to watch them. If you want to support the service, by all means, do it. If you don't want to support the service, we're not going to judge you. We're not doing it because it'll, you know, mess up our recording thing. And also because frankly, Sony owns this and they don't need the extra 12 cents from me watching it with ads. Yeah. The, this movie is from 1983. They have gotten their money yeah. out of it. <laughs> exactly. And you know, if, if, if it, if it, if it upsets you, then, you know, pay for a digital download from somewhere you know, or, or go, you know, buy a DVD or a VHS or a select division of it or something and watch it with us that way. But we are watching it on Crackle and we've never watched this on Crackle. Before. But we think we've got it worked out how it's supposed to work. The process should be similar to the stuff we watch on Hulu or what we used to watch on Netflix. Scroderick, would you like to give a guess as to how they should watch this? Because apparently that's the thing you do. Well, I've already worked this out, so you you can hit the play button, hit pause, let everything load. I don't know if there's any sort of preload because it was straight to the movie for me. You can hit the 10 second rewind. It'll take you to the beginning. And then we can give you the countdown and you can hit play and you'll be synced up with us. I also so found that their slider is very good. You can just drag it completely to zero. There's no problems with that I, either. You know, you can just hit play after that and we're good to go. So yeah, Draco so- Funk, do you want to tell us how how's this movie's IMDb rating? Oh, he told us already. Oh, he damn. Really okay, you can cut that out then. <laughs> Leave it in. Right. It'll be funny. Yeah, it will. No. <laughs> <laughs> God Bye. damn it. Just bleep it. 
<laughs> it has an IMDb rating of 6.1, if you didn't hear me last time. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, gl- I'm glad you said it. Because I know we've been talking about it a few times before we were on, so... I'm, I'm glad you said it again, because I thought you had 6.6 the first And I wanted to be prepared. <laughs> that, half a point, that half a point will affect my review. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you did or not. 6.1. This is where we splice in the flashback of what you said the first time. <laughs> yeah, you can just See, leave out a big string of all the fucking stuff I'm saying. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is Crawl. <laughs> That's like the usual flow for the starting thing that I say it doesn't work with this movie title. <laughs> <laughs> We are watching anyway, Crawl the Crawl Crawl. <laughs> crawl the Crawl 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 episode Crow. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching it on Crackle.com and whatever. And watch it wherever you want, man. But we're going to start it off with our fingers over the buttons in five, four, three, two, one. Crawl. Okay, I've got. Oh, there's. Okay, good. It worked. French horns. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, just horns now. Freedom horns, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Ted Man. Peter Yates. No relation to Cassidy Yates. Nope. Oh, wow. They just throw it right at you, literally. <laughs> whoa, 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 it's the knife for rain. Wow. That is ridiculous. <laughs> And these are the most 80s titles I've ever seen, too. Like the embossed, like, metallic thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, Liam Armstrong. Thing. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Dick and <laughs> <a> <laughs> 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 Cut that out. Oh, wow. This is really... Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to start flying sideways. No, this is <laughs> almost the Star Trek II theme. Yes, it is. I was... Um, I didn't think this was the movie where that was true, but apparently it is. Because there there was a movie, and I can remember the one that I was talking to Scroderick about wanting to blindside you with, where the entire soundtrack is basically just like... Oh, wow rejected drafts of Star Trek 2 movie music. <laughs> this isn't rejected drafts. He just changed the melody over top. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same, but I like it. <laughs> so oh, yeah. It, I mean, yeah. No, really he's a, good. He's a great composer. He had better horn players for this movie, you know? Like, <laughs> so... Paul Wilson and that other dude are the people you blame for this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, these do sound like better brass players than Star Trek 2, actually. <laughs> Not that they were bad, but like this is a little bit cleaner than the Star Trek 2 soundtrack. <laughs> Even the violin part is like, oh. Uh... Let's invert this part of the motive, but not all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he probably didn't have a lot of time. This came out right after Star Trek 2. Yeah. So you gotta do the thing where they hit the their bows on the strings. 
Colenio. I don't know, it's Castle Grayskull. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you're like an aspiring music composer and you have like good string players who have nice equipment and instruments, please don't use Colenio much. And if you do, like warn your people before the studio recording because I don't know any wait, players. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beast in his army. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like Crackle. The subtitles are like in the letterboxing, so they're not over the picture. Mm -hmm. Also, did you notice the smoke like going into the ground there? They it's reversed like that villages. Yeah. <laughs> of ancient name. Uh, no, you're supposed to have the face max down, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's to hide your dumb face. Oh, no, they all forgot. Never mind. And they're the Krolian Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she looks fartificial. Fartificial? Fartificial. Daddy! <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> The Slayers. There's still like four guys. I mean, you know. I, I... I said four guys. He sucks in bed. I should know. I'm a terrible fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what they say about guys with Roman noses? <laughs> they don't have daughters that look like that. <laughs> <clears throat> this part's not syncopated, but otherwise... <laughs> This is as many people as we could get together that know how to ride horses. Yeah, we blew our entire budget on the soundtrack, so I'm uh, going to need to keep the army down to about seven. <laughs> what the hell? That is a weird door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can tell everybody's aliens because nothing uses efficient shapes. <laughs> and doors aren't square, you know? <laughs> he's just going to he's just going to betray you, dude. <laughs> Mr. The, the attack didn't last long. He died shortly <laughs> after. <laughs> yes. End of the movie. I'm Commander Eddington. He had pretty nice hair. Yeah. I wonder if it was real. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I lost mine pretty suddenly. <laughs> uh, mine was pretty gradual. I mean... Oh, now I've got the thing going where, like, I have, you know, it's really thin up top except for one tuft, like, right at my hairline on the left side. 
(laughs) (laughs) So it's like, you know. Oh, man, he has an Austin Powers, like, level of chest hair. God. (laughs) (laughs) Groovy, baby. I promise not to do that anymore. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it didn't it didn't it didn't come out the way I thought it was gonna come out. <laughs> Chest hair rarely does. Ow, your spike armor. <laughs> Ow, your syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, I can't stand I mean Fire Whoosh. Flame on I was going to say, those are gas torches they're carrying. This is the Star Trek 3 theme. <laughs> da, 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 da. Same core changes and everything. Camera is slowly zooming into the off. Genesis planet. <laughs> Everybody ripped off holes. Every now and then, really the swords off. to break. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just wearing like a safari sombrero. What the hell? I just remember the the guy on QVC that breaks the katana and stabs himself with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's so a triskelion is three legs, right? What do you call a similar rotationally symmetric thing with five legs? A fifth skellium. The pen pen to pen, pentascalian quint quintiscalian a quisk Oh god it burns. Oh okay. Wow, okay, that's actually what happened. Quickly, please. Hurry. Ouch. Uh, oh, oh no. Fast oh. Enough. oh, no. Chest wound. <laughs> oh, the, that's what they get for using that shitty door. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of Satans. Dun, 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 bravely dun, ran away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bravely brave Sir Robin. Did, did he take the fire out of her hand? I don't know. I don't think they got to that. Oh, oh man. The wire foo. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So they have single shot laser bayonet uh, firing knife guns. Man, I'll the, save you. Oh. <laughs> the armor looks like they need to get back on Spaceball 1. Yeah, really. <laughs> Plastic bicycle helmet armor versus these, you know, ironclad like demons. Thrust. Explode. Oh, God. oh, oh wow. uh, what? He did explode. Yeah. 
No, you don't do the intimate stab when it's like an alien, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like the only way I can get proper penetration is to put the dagger by my pelvis and thrust. <laughs> Did he start screaming before he got hit? <laughs> he did indeed. <laughs> why? Why do there's Weapons like crackle because Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars did that with that sound effect. <laughs> Come on, Eddington, you're a better fighter than this. Although, most of the time, Eddington would just kind of hide around the corner with a phaser. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a flesh wound. Oh. oh good, you knocked out one guy. Good job. You let it twelve of your own people die while you hid and then you kicked one guy over and said, See, I'm the hero. No, they're harvesting our female. Yes. We only have but the one. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> oh. okay, that's the music for the Reliance shooting the Enterprise. Yes, it is. You know, I said we shouldn't soak down the hay bales with gasoline before we stored them outside the castle, but did you listen? No, you didn't. And now look what you've done. My stash is hidden in there. <laughs> uh, he ripped that off from Prokofiev. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was like a Roman candle going off there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the same shot as before, but it's going the other direction now, so the smoke is moving the right way. <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, lovely day, just riding my horse to the castle to see the king. Oh, beautiful morning, hello. Oh, God! Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> loot the corpses. They aren't going to yep. need that. That's one thirsty guard. One snorting horse. <laughs> horse is like, yep. I oh, that horse is dead. Very thoroughly dead. <laughs> I think that's his horse. It's very, very dead. It's a rare, rare zombie horse. <laughs> Brought a script with him. I could tell which who was the hero, so I knew which guy to save. Your D and D mount is forever going to be a zombie horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell. <laughs> I put pure turpentine on this just for you. Just a looter of the corpses. Not that old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. The granite mountains. You were needed yesterday, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Huh. 
Yeah, and that's not going to do all the stages of grief. Yeah. How do you know? Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up, I'm a girl. Wait. Can you lead me to it? Megadeth, Pantera, (laughs) and Metallica will be waiting. (laughs) On the night of the Black Sabbath, you shall have to go forth. (laughs) You are unlucky. Slipknot may be there too. The power of the glaive. Oh, hey, it's more music from Star Trek. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I had one quarter impulse power. (laughs) Give me your horse. It'll totally be here when you come back out of the cave. Yes, and so will I. Yes. What, 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 those pants, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they're, they're, they're his, they're his marriage pants. He wanted yeah. to impress his bride. <laughs> I guess. He can do the truffle shuffle with them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Draco Fung, is it just now sunrise for you? I don't know. It's really cloudy. Oh, okay. It's been light here for like an hour. <laughs> and I just got the notification that I get when it's sunrise. Where you... Which sounds really weird without any context. <laughs> <laughs> you are Sorry, I'm not like... going to give any... Oh, rocks! Oh, well... <laughs> just, just stand right there. It'll be fine. It's okay. He used to watch Guts a lot on Nickelodeon <laughs> when he was a kid. Yes. <laughs> It's just All like right, climbing Kenny. the aggro crag. <laughs> <laughs> well, he survived that one, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Will he fall into the septic sludge? <laughs> right you are, Ken. <laughs> Full impulse power. Damn you. And you must have made bank as like a like a session musician on the French horn in the eighties. <laughs> it's only these like it's the same three guys for all the sessions. It's just yeah. I mean, maybe they just had more time to practice for this movie. I don't know. Ooh. 
Into the adventure that... slit. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and took you a second, uh, huh? No. <laughs> no, I was about to get wildly inappropriate, and I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And then the, the opportunity was just missed. Aw. <laughs> uh, I, I have a lot. I get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I try to dial it back sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. Ooh. I just, I just skipped an ad. I did So too. if you're watching this on Crackle, then there's an ad there. and you He just pause crawled it. in through the adventure slit or whatever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Face first. I want to shave that stubble before he tries that again. I mean, just saying. Yeah, Mountain Doom ain't what it used to be. That's code red, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, well, it's it's in lava. It's lost forever. It's reminding me of the Nutcracker. Uh, Where's Arnold when we need him? Yeah, right. Now you're thinking the Macaulay Culkin version of the Nutcracker. Which I watched recently. This is a dumb idea, dude. Don't don't, don't do this. Don't oh, I mean... <laughs> Use your sword, dude. Oh, it's water. Oh, no, it's not water. Uh, oh, nope, now he's on fire. No, that's something you want to do quickly. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't understand. Is it supposed to be lava or like... It's definitely not water. Oh, it's the septic sludge. Okay. Uh, I think it was supposed to be lava. Ooh. Yeah. He was holding it wrong. <laughs> I think I saw one of those in a mall once. It's a Mutar Nebula. Oh, wait. Meanwhile, in another movie. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da I'm already married. Da -da -da -da. Tentacles. Tentacles. They're using the the melody from the Earl King as the beast slayer motive. <laughs> That's like really clever. <laughs> <laughs> if I remembered it in German, I'd totally sing it, but I don't. My father, my father. Yeah, but like the what the beast says later, like what 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 the what the, what the elf king says, like when he's trying to seduce the kid. I, I don't remember what the German words are. Hey, that's that was my problem. Well, I am a eunuch. I know not of these things. Maybe twice. Only on a good night. Wait, the vision of them? Yes. 
Okay. Bum ba dum ba da ba dum bum 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 ba da ba dum. Come, Patsy. <laughs> Is now time to use the thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Bullshit you are. Oh, there's Patsy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where have I seen that guy before? Is is he in Monty Python? Like, is that like Eric Idle? No. Okay. Right. I maybe he's the the guy that was at the candy shop with, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that sells Charlie like candy. Uh, what the f what the hell? Uh, <laughs> Untitled Goose character. <laughs> <laughs> Ring its neck. Now you have dinner. Yes. I could peck the shit out of your shins. Geese can't read. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. You're the goose man. And thick of booty. David Batley is the name of that actor. Mm. Died 2003 of a heart attack. Mm. Born with a hole in the heart. Hi. Oh. Uh, what the... Mm. <laughs> The placid, horrifying Cyclops. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not talking to him. <laughs> oh, the Disney castle. Yeah, he was in Willy Wonka. He was in a movie called Up the Chastity Belt. Uh. The fuck? Oh, hey, another ad. If you are watching this with ads, there was an ad there. Woo. Wee. Man, no means no. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the sideways cave.
but we have to go through the mines of Moria. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so this was that guy's last movie. <laughs> well, crap, okay. <laughs> Crossfire. <laughs> it, turn it into something smaller. All right, Gene Simmons. You're kind of cute. Hello, I got in. <laughs> Meet Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm traveling <laughs> with him. Quite I'm about to crack my whip. Yeah, so here, here's our Star Wars crossover. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Danny Kay. Slit his throat. <laughs> I'm stupid. At the Quint Scullion? Damn it. <laughs> yep. Uh, well. <laughs> Creepy Placid Cyclops following them around. Do, 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 do. I want him to forget them in the plot so that he just follows them around and never does anything. <laughs> I, I want that to happen. And scene. Wait, yeah. I was I was here. What, why did La you the last... put this thing on? You know? <laughs> the last shot of the movie is just him smiling. That's how you know the, the movie's over. Taking a piss. 
twenty. Creepy Placid Cyclops murdering aliens. Good thing he has a whole bunch of those uh, tridents there. <laughs> it's just kind of fill them full of javelins. You know? <laughs> yes. Nope. <laughs> 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 oh. Ah! It's called a cyclops. Did he have one horn? Was he flying? Was he purple. <laughs> uh, it was only a bunny corn. We can make pizza out of him. Oh, God. <laughs> I wanted to criticize that, but the more I thought about it, like, they had stupid alien animals in, like, every Star Trek <laughs> series. Yeah. My favorite one was, like, the horn dog. Mm hmm. The dog of corn. <laughs> <laughs> the corn dog. That's what it is. It's a corn dog. <laughs> I, really, I want a corn dog now. Please, whoever's editing this, put the image of the corn dog up. <laughs> With the sound effect like, bing! No, it's got a twang. Twang! Just do a bing and run it through a phaser. What happened to your accent? Bum <laughs> bum <laughs> Starfleet headquarters. What? Uh, oh. Oh, another adventure slit. <laughs> We're in between the folds. Yep. <laughs> it's like the, the Harry Potter platform, you know? <laughs> run at it. Just run at it as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> What if what if they went nowhere? Run into the light. Oh. <laughs> well, let's go. Go? Go where? Where they went. Suppose they went nowhere. Then if this is your big chance to get away from it all. Deep within the snot caves. Scrodrick rises again. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of years ago, it was foretold. This looks a lot like Yoda's home. <laughs> Except full time. Yeah. Process it is. <laughs> mm, visitors I had for years complain about ceilings they did. Oh, he has a youngling with him. <laughs> God, it's Chojum. <laughs> it is the middle of September. <laughs> the time of the Christmas on Earth. Bring me my stool. You're on the stool. My other stool. The stuff that's in the bucket over there? 
the other other stool. <laughs> Could at least give the old guy the higher stool. Mmm, Jolly Ranchers. Mmm, mm, Jolly Ranchers cereal. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I've never tried it, but it sounds disgusting. I have candy in my van. <laughs> Pure cinnamon. <laughs> Please be. <laughs> now, now inhale it through your nose. Therefore. Oh no. <laughs> it's off balance. <laughs> it's going to explode <laughs> right in their face. <laughs> it's gonna start like abrading the flesh off his hands. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh no, the mat lines have taken off part of my finger. It's emitting green flame. Green flame? Are you my new bride? <laughs> ah, yes, my rotoscope. Here, you dupe. <laughs> that isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Should have used the black crystal. Ah, okay. The bathroom. Oh. My dick is hard. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, well. Well, even the blind guy can ride a horse. <laughs> So, they need to take this guy to the Emerald Palace so he can lead them to the Black, the Black Castle Temple Fortress. Of death. And they did take him with them. Perhaps you should clean the tree cracks now and then, you filthy. So he's picked up a band of about like what, eight guys. Eight guys. Some guy who can turn himself into a pig and a goose. Some old guy who's fo who's like following him around for some reason. A silent cyclops and a blind guy. And a pro wrestler. <laughs> Emeralds. <laughs> what what color they are. There was that. What? Three trees, he said. There's like a thousand trees here. Oh no. Oh, Marco Leno. They're just hanging out there. Really hope they warn the string players. Like that's like murder on your bow. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, the dubbing was out of phase there, so I heard them twice. <laughs> Stay in front of me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, R2. Wow, another reverse <laughs> shot. <laughs> Use the knife orang. <laughs> Like, none of them are constantly getting electrocuted. Oh no, yeah. Bill the construction worker fell in the lake. <laughs> Can he build it? Maybe they all know to, like, cover the grips of their swords with rubber. <laughs> Oh, they can only show the beginning part before the head slug falls out of them. Yes. All right, everybody stab them. Holy crap. He just winked at you. I was bored. <laughs> Can't see. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Who plays him in this movie? It's, a, it's not Peter Mayhew, is it? Mm. I mean, I doubt it because of the accent, but... Bernard Breslaw. Yeah, then you could eat them. Mm. Oh, he died in ninety-three. Mm. Well, right before a stage performance of the Taming of the Shrew. Mm. Random heart attack. Mm. Da -da. Still the Arrow King theme. Seeing the tons and the knee. Just kind of keep my mouth shut there. <laughs> ah!
Artax. <laughs> Artax. <laughs> Course was the never ending story after this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. 84. Uh-huh. Oh, Dick. I'm sinking into the dog food. Just throw the glaive at him. <laughs> That'll yeah. help him. <laughs> He's got the right idea. Hang on to something with roots. Don't chew their granola. It's toxic. Pull up, Maverick. Why why is he sinking still? Well, he started passing out before his face was under. Yeah. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. Now grab his stuff. Well, that was awful. <laughs> use the force. He's actually going to use the force, isn't he? Wait. What? Why are there two of them? Because one of them is the force. Uh, <laughs> freaky Ad eyes. Pets? Nope. Don't. Don't touch him. That's. That's his no no place. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, uh, time to take my pills. Please allow me. <laughs> Wait a gropey. No, I'll lead the seer. No, I'll lead the seer. I want him to touch me next. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's freaky. Like he looks, yeah, he looks really freaky like that. That's actually a really good choice. <laughs> yeah. I imagine that's painful as hell, like giant black hard contact lenses. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we watched this after No Holds Bar. <laughs> <laughs> nope, stepped in. Something Dookie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dookie. There was an ad. There was another ad. It's going to vomit that guy back out. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. Uh. We hatched another seer. <laughs> He is the demon one. Uh huh. For a second there, I thought Liam Neeson had a shovel over his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hurt myself readjusting. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, nothing run, to do with Cyclops, run. <laughs> All right, Gollum, where are we going? Wait, that, that Cyclops is shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh whoa whoa ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> put him out of his misery <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. wow <laughs> huh that was awful Oh crap! The minions in on this. Crap! Now we gotta do blood samples. Come on, Eddington. And that's why Eddington, Eddington betrayed him. He got tired of always being the guy who had to take the blood. <laughs> it's like we have a doctor who could do this, <laughs> but no. The other blind seer. <laughs> we banged once yes. many years ago. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Yolanda. <laughs> <laughs> Yolandi would be funnier. <laughs> this movie needs Deantwoord in it. So bad. <laughs> you must fail. This quest brought to you by Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> With the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis. So you know they work. <laughs> we should really quit giving that away for free. Like, <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about this, like, 20 minutes of the movie is you can tell they just spent a day in the swamp. Walking back and forth. Yep. Stop! Beagle time! I found a dog! I'm hungry. That's why I really wanted a puppy. He was hungry. Man, that beagle would not last long in the uh, quicksand. Nope. <laughs> Red rocket! Red rocket! No! <laughs> uh, oh, man. There it is. Why is the crying? kid crying? Yeah. Maybe that's why he turned into a dog. He saw the kid crying. Was the kid supposed to be crying? Well, he just lost the seer, his only family. So, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, true. Na -na. Now he'll be devastated when the little beagle runs away and turns back into the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have horses the whole time? Mm-hmm. They didn't they didn't have horses in the swamp, did they? The, they had them going up to the swamp, and I assume they went out of the swamp and now they're where their horses were tied up. Or, you know, that's where they got them. So why did they go into the swamp? To take they go the to the there. place, yeah. 
and then the seer died, so now they have to go to the the bitch he hooked up with, you know, uh, years ago. Queen of the Web. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Queen of the Web. She's just sitting in front of a web camera naked. <laughs> <laughs> I have 20 million subscribers on Chatterbait. <laughs> yeah, we know. He said that. I'll hear you, Dave. <laughs> Dog. Weird. Uh, glad I got that out of my system. If only we had a dog to kill. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> In a van. <laughs> really pissed off that horse by punching it in the face. <laughs> Just like Scrodder's dead. <laughs> Man, what a story. Like, how did Grandpa die? Well, son, he punched a horse in the face. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'll just sharpen my knife. What are they eating? Cruel. What? What? What's your last name? Booze. Malarkey. <laughs> Qui-Gon Vodka. All right, Aragorn, just eat it. Mm. There was an ad. Ad. Oh no. Okay, so we've gone from the the I can't comment on the sets that she's in because they're all orifices. Jump! Do it! Jump! I have no facial expressions. What?
to the disco with you. If the price is right. On a movie like this where the villain is Drew Carey. <laughs> that would would it have to be like new, like skinny Drew Carey though? Or would it have to be like older Drew Carey? Or like, well, younger Drew Carey when he was like yeah. more jolly. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I think, I, think, I think 90s Drew Carey is correct. And all of the henchmen are Colin Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Just like an army of him, like hopping around, you know? You gave me too much whiskey. No, love is eternal. Power is fleeting. What the hell? <laughs> See, even the evil squid monster gets consent first. <laughs> There's a lesson to be learned here, men. But... You know, he's also threatening her, like, you know, put out or I'll kill a bunch of people. So, <laughs> is that really concerning? Yeah, but that makes him a bad boy, and that's hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we oh, web. Oh, okay. Not the internet. Space Station Regular One, this is Enterprise calling. Please respond. Space Station Regular One, this is USS Enterprise calling. Please respond. Well, thanks anyway. Bye. <laughs> Yolanda, it's me. Don't you remember? Mardi Gras. <laughs> wow. It's a pretty impressive model, actually. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Her name is Lissa?
So would you call this a bell spider? <laughs> I get it. Bom, ba-dum, bom, ba-dum, bom. Fire! <laughs> Captain, I'm getting weird energy readings. Something I've never ah. seen before. It's the Genesis <laughs> wave. It's on a build up to detonation. It's a good thing he's like an ex like tightrope walker. <laughs> he's using that old man's strength. Yeah. <laughs> I had to explain that to somebody the other day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get how that guy was able to pick up that younger guy by the throat and hold him against the wall off his feet. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did he do when he was working? Oh, he worked in a factory all his life. <laughs> yeah. That's why. <laughs> That's why, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to make it, are we? Uh-uh. <laughs> Sulu! <laughs> Scotty! <sighs> Bless you, Scotty! Go, Sulu! This movie doesn't end with Amazing Grace. I'm going to be really disappointed. Yeah, look at your house. Yeah, really. You kind of got a spider infestation. <laughs> you were married. <laughs> Widow. Not with me. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Damn. Uh... Oh. Oh, okay. That's an awful lot to process, lady. <laughs> oh. uh. Wow. <laughs> it's a little darker than we thought it was going to be, maybe. I... What? I need... Good. I never even met the kid. It was like, you know, it didn't exist anyway. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dark. Uh-huh. <laughs> the rest of my body is still very old. No, where? Okay, there we go. The kind of man who is young. And not me. Is seeking not you. Therefore we should care. I'm a little lost, admittedly.
Wait, she's going to die and then grow old? As the hourglass turns, so are the days of our lives. Uh, Wait, what do I put the sand in? How, how do I? I need a thing. Do you have like a <laughs> bottle? <laughs> Throw it at the spider. A cup, like a coffee mug. Like I don't know. I'll take a dinner plate. There's Ned. There's Ned. Plastic baggie. Some something. Briefcase. I don't know. Dude, don't stop. Put that shit in your pocket or something. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> it's more of a hiccup, but thanks. I'll show him. Time to eat myself a sandwich. You could have sandwich. eaten. You could have eaten a sandwich before you left, if you know what I mean. Okay. I don't know what you mean. Can you explain it to me? My face hurts. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Uh, uh, no, there's gonna be a million of them. Yeah. Put put it. You don't have a pocket. What? What? On my own, here we go. Tenant. 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 Tenant, tenant, tenant. I've known you for like two days. <laughs> Still the best friend he's ever had. I hate sand. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have time, dude. You gotta go. Just throw him in the spider cave. It'll be fine.
We have to hurry. Budweiser loaned us these horses. <laughs> we only have them for an hour. That's all we can afford. <laughs> Particularly during Christmas. I want to believe the Cyclops guy just walked off in di- different directions because he can't see. Yeah. He has no death perception. <laughs> well, if you notice the way they're, you know, framing the shots, you know, he doesn't have to move much. Uh huh. There, we've exhausted them. Oh, wait. <laughs> we Oh. Oh, ah. Uh-huh. That's a good way to do it. Just let them drag you. All right, now you got to break these horses and train them. (laughs) Yeah. Before tomorrow morning. (laughs) Right. Ow. Ow. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) He did the Riker maneuver to get on that horse. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't need a saddle. I always ride bareback. Exactly. Uh oh. (laughs) Yep, you can always trust Liam Neeson with a little kid. Worse than dying? <laughs> I was going to. No, I wanted your trident. I don't know how to ride a horse. (laughs) There's a Klingon. Oh, wrong note. Wrong note, the trumpets. (laughs) Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. I mean, if they're actually going that fast, that would be really fun. Fair. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
set this and you know entire wheat field on fire just for this <laughs> shot <laughs> <laughs> Santa Santa No, it's E.T. Yeah, I was thinking, like, one of those has to be a bicycle now. (laughs) You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen E.T. in its entirety. Ever. I don't think I have either. <laughs> Tomorrow, oh. Highway 47. <laughs> well, I think there's a good chance I'm off work tomorrow. Um, it's not official yet, but they said they'd tell us one way or another for sure later today. There's an ad. Ad. <laughs> ad, ad. <laughs> That's what we just did. <laughs> I readjusted again. You're saying that now? They're not going to see that coming. Nope. Crap, no door. Uh... Do, 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 do. This is so distracting. (laughs) No. It's it's constant. It's like, yeah, it's the wrong soundtrack. I mean, it's not the but you know. Like, I can tell he he didn't have time to, like, compose all new music. Mm Mm-hmm. He just took the stuff he'd written for Star Trek 2 and changed the melody over top of it. So what can I use here? Uh, part of the Earl King motive? Okay, great. Part of the fourth movie <laughs> Sulu lock phasers. Oh, <laughs> Rel said, fuck it, we're just going <laughs> to do this. You know? <laughs> he defied his fate. So this isn't really man versus man or man. Oh. oh. We got Farmer John. What's that from? Until I died. Those horses were awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be, but... (laughs) (laughs) Give the word. The word is given. Warp speed. He stayed at his post when the train is ran. (laughs) Rush B. Oh man, the film grain. (laughs) 
And I'm the aggro Craig. Yes. Papa, papa. There was the ricochet sound that is almost as famous as the Wilhelm scream. Yep. <laughs> Lasers don't affect me, man. <laughs> Lasers can't penetrate animal hides. <laughs> and nobody knows it except him. <laughs> Why did we all wear spandex? Because it's the 80s. I'll let everybody else in now. Maybe help hold the door. Looks like he's holding it open. Yeah. Go violas. Prepare for phase shift. Everybody's in. You can like get out of the damn door now. <laughs> Man, what a horrible way to go. Uh, well, they were right. Oh. Uh, I mean, at least it's over quick, I fate. guess. Yeah, he defied his uh, fate and went in a pretty horrible way, but. Yeah. <laughs> It worked. Yeah. He went, yay! And then he rolled. <laughs> he did the Kirk action rolls. <laughs> Dude, if he throws a drop kick, I will be so happy. <laughs> I really like letting violin sit on this note for like three octaves higher. It's about a B. <laughs> <laughs> and then there were still just about as many as there started with. Into the cavity. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the most top end actor they have in the movie just got killed <laughs> off. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. No. Oh, shit. Now you're supposed to, like, rage out and then sprint down the hallway, but, you know, not make it through the force field in time, even though you have the sprint, like, ten times faster. You just chose not to use it while you were pissed. That's how you react when Liam Neeson dies. Wee. Uh -oh. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> one of you has a rope. I know you do. Turn into a giant animal and push the rest of them out. No, throw them the rope. Uh, <laughs> let's crush yeah, it. Really. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm, pretty good choice. Them though before they shoot you. Yeah, right. Dude, dude. <laughs> Exactly the same chord progression. <laughs> what? How do you no, know that? Why? If only I had some kind of blade. Or like seven blades. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> My mom ninja skills will save us all. Blue screen me, Steve. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cut like a you know six inch wide hole across. Yeah. Don't edit the scene down or anything. Just keep it long. <laughs> the people won't get the point unless this takes like five minutes. How much you want to bet that's two scenes kind of like cross cut with each other? Because they didn't want to let the little kid be like in the same room with the tiger? <laughs> Probably, actually. Because you notice they were walking through. Whoa! <laughs> Bardock! Oh no! So, ah, ah. so the king could just do that and not have to wait. <laughs> he, he could just fall through the wall. So, why don't you just cut a rectangle? It'll be faster. <laughs> There's an ad. There's an ad. Really, we don't uh, need all the. Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> this is not a good room to be in. I would start swinging my sword at those things. Yeah, I mean, find a way to get between them, you know. Oh, I forgot my knife. <laughs> the one comes up out of the floor. Cut it. You have you're holding a knife. Yep. Well uh ow. This this is where they went to warp. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have swords. They could have went to town on those and saw if they could have broke them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Spock! No! Go, 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 go. 
So you could have done that to, so- to start with and saved everybody. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but you should only use it when you need it, but I think they've needed it this whole movie. <laughs> yes. Literally from the first scene, they've needed that thing. <laughs> Oh, Snoke. No. You gotta use the Master Sword and hit those back. <laughs> and use the hook shot to get up there and, you know. Boomerang doesn't help against Ganon. Uh. Uh, That's broken. <laughs> no, you keep your hand out in case it comes back so you can catch it. Now you got him in the arm a little. You grazed him. I'll teach him. He won't bother us again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what was the point of it just hovering there for <laughs> you have to wait for Ganon to shoot the energy bolt before you hit it back that's what it is oh no I want to come back Spog. it's sad Jim wait I don't, I don't know what to do Get the medics down here! Get them now! No, Spock! (laughs) (laughs) He'll die! He's dead already. Well, that thing was useful once for its only intended purpose. I guess I can just leave it. Oh, wait, wait, no. Oh, okay. Okay, DM, do we find any loot after the Tarask dies? Jesus, you guys! Will you roleplay this for fucking once? Just, like, hurry up, run up. Plus, start hacking at it, man. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> I fooled you. I have the power of the glaive now. <laughs> oh. That ain't good. That last another ten or fifteen minutes, though. Well, time to take more pills. (laughs) (laughs) The Swartz is inside you. Shoot him in the face with a light arrow and then run around behind him and hit the tail. See, that's what I'm saying. He still totally should get the glaive back, though, if he can, because, you know, yeah. use, use the secret fire as his trump card, but the glaive to be like, oh, here's my secret weapon. Exactly. 
Here's the legendary glaive. It's the only thing I have. <laughs> My last resort. Future. Yeah. <laughs> the future of his kingdom when the next big bad shows up. I think I have six fingers. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Toasted. Catches her dress on fire. Oh, and when the alien dies, the murder spikes go away. <laughs> if only that would have worked for Bardock. It'll suddenly, like, pop out and, like, fly back to him anyway. And the glaive was forgotten for all time. Yes. Aww. Change back into a dude. Or something easily carryable. Yes. Hamster, you know? <laughs> How how can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Only Ergo has red blood. I mean, okay. Maybe give him a couple minutes, but then you know after. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely hear that. Sure is good. The seer liked bells. <laughs> he used echolocation to navigate. I'm glad we don't have to carry a tiger out of here. Why does the castle fall apart when the guy dies? <laughs> it was only held together by his evil. Yes, that's how it usually works. Don't stop. You Keep going. Keep go Bum, 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 bum. Oh, good. Now you've, like, deep fried the squashed Cyclops corpse. Mmm, smells like fried Cyclops. Turn into a bird. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> what? How? Well, they got down pretty fast. Yeah. Her dress is still immaculate. As is her hair, and as is her, or she. Come on, somebody, sh they have a wizard using prestidigitation on her to make her <laughs> yeah. everything clean. She's actually the spider widow.
<laughs> it's just wobbling. It's like a failed demolition. <laughs> yeah. Let's just lay down here. Yeah. I shall make you my queen in this field. In front of the kid? <laughs> Has to learn someday. <laughs> Oh, hey, I think I can see an electricity pole in the background. At least take them off. Yeah. <laughs> A job. I'm the king now. <laughs> the entire. The, wait, the, the, world. the, the galaxy? Ga galaxy. You, you mean like... Yeah. Yeah. It'll be like the, the Monty Python deal, like, who are you? Mm. <laughs> you know, they, they ride a hundred miles away. Who are you? I'm the ruler of this planet. Yes. <laughs> you got no king. <laughs> oh, God. I'm the ruler of this galaxy. What? <laughs> Yeah, didn't, didn't you know? <laughs> Must be a king. How do you know? As it goes oh, all and over. Patsy him. did the casting. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vic Armstrong. <laughs> Kelvin uh, Pike. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 well, if we so, didn't need the Star Trek connection to be stronger, there we go. I want this to be actual Earth history in the Kelvin timeline. <laughs> like, like, like we have we have Arthur, you know, and the... <laughs> no, this was uh, a bad film Eddington was in <laughs> in college. <you> know? <laughs> Cisco discovered it and played it on all of these screens on Deep Space Nine as a prank, and that's when he decided to join the Maquis and betray them. And Qui-Gon entered an anomaly when he got killed. <laughs> yes. And went to a different universe. You cut out there. Oh, he went to a different universe and got thrown into the past. There we <laughs> so... go. He traveled through a time-traveling galaxy-wide wormhole. Yes. He used his sword skills to warm his way into an order of stuck-up knights. <laughs> Anti-time. All right, I'm going to stop the credits. I've heard enough of the same soundtrack as the track, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that was... That, that was cruel. <laughs> yeah. they, never, they never retrieved the knife ring. No, nope. they didn't. No, they just forgot the that ancient weapon that was powerful and could be powerful again. And they used it twice. Yeah. Well, they, you know, well, it it got it got shot up into space into the galaxy. You see, and so for in Krull two, they can go and retrieve it from the 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 Tarask or whatever that guy was. Because then they're like, "Oh shit, we needed that." <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, also oh. a key to the. You know something. You know when Ganondorf reforms into a more powerful foe, and that yeah, thing was Skull like two set to be released. <laughs> well, it's been in development hell. Like most of it's already shot. <laughs> They're just waiting for CGI to catch up now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that way they can de-age all the actors and finish filming one more scene. Oh my god! Uh... They use magic to revive Rel. 
There is a Curl 2 on Amazon Books. Oh, God. And there, and there is a fan-made teaser trailer for Curl 2. <laughs> on YouTube. 48 seconds long. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll link you guys here. <laughs> link it in the description. <laughs> yes. Here, here we go. Oh. Should we, should we watch this in sync? Uh. Uh. Yeah. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. And this is rated R. <laughs> yes. At the far end of our universe. So they're adding blood and nudity to this. Yes. The world is at peace. Oh, there's dragons now. <laughs> a, a giant beast. I love these are just clips from random movies. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings are in there. <laughs> wow. There's nothing identifiable. <laughs> huh. What? Wow, and the, and the autoplay video for me is my own Kroll Glaive replicas. Hooey. Well, that fan trailer has 64 likes and 20 dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kroll number two comics, okay. There was a comic book series. Make that 21. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm, I'm logged in under the highway, phone, so I'm not going to download it, but you know. <laughs> oh, crap. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Well. Sorry. Hello. So what oh, yeah. did you think of Curl, though? <laughs> but before we get to that, I want to say that it updated to 20 when you clicked it on my screen. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was that was a pretty entertaining movie, honestly, all things It, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, I mean, that was... It was watchable. I think it, it kind of did that thing that epic movies in the 80s did where it dragged on a bit too long. Mm -hmm. But But I appreciate, like, there was that kind of... There was kind of a happy medium in that time between, you know, the, the old school style of epic filmmaking that was, you know, very stoic and slow paced and very formal. There was that that sort of classicism of like the, the Cecil B. DeMille era. And and it was in it's in between that and like the, you know, thing that we always complain about where everybody is the teenager chosen one with special powers of the universe and fate <laughs> guides them to, you know, <laughs> and, and I mean like, and that's, that's what went on in this movie, but, but it, it, you know, it was before it was cliche. <laughs> before, it was before it was cliche and it was done in a way that was, you know, something you can latch on to. It, it, it seems like a fairy tale instead of, like bullshit, <laughs> you know. And the modern, the modern take on that just seems like bullshit, you know. I think, I think this is there, there's, there's, there's the era where the bookends are like, like the original Star Wars and like the first Lord of the Rings trilogy, right? The beginning and the end of the era where they, 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 they did everything in the right balance as far as that, that. Classes, classic, classical style filmmaking, and you know, making things personable and and individually investable, and and holding your attention well. And this this fits in that. That's my opinion. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I think it would have been better if they wouldn't have tried to add so much special effects. Yeah, the uh, the sword sparking and the lightning and yeah. was a little much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was necessary. Um, I get, I I like the some of them I like, like the, the sort of laser bayonet cannons. Yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but, but every, like, flip them around and they have a pointy end. Flip them the other way and they're a gun. 
that yeah, only that's fine. shoot like one shot. You know, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, maybe but they it, have a recharge time. You know, sure, sure. And, but every sword shooting lightning, yeah, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's like you pull it out of the scabbard, accidentally touch it to your skin, electrocute yourself, and it explodes. Right. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not very practical. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that sci-fi and fantasy, you know, movie writers never think about. Is this well, a yeah. weapon? Is this a weapon that you can wield safely? <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, think about lightsabers. If they didn't have special Jedi powers, they would just like try to flip a flashlight around wildly and not point it at yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because the blades on lightsabers, you know, have no mass, so it would just be like waving a flashlight around. And I yeah. would. I would cut my own appendages off immediately. <laughs> like, <laughs> it makes you wonder how, like, that must be why they're so good at, like, quickly making prosthetic limbs in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the B class of Jedi's that you know. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like Luke they're got the cannon a... fodder, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like Luke got a perfect prosthetic hand in what ten minutes, you know, <laughs> and it was just like a thing they had on like. A Corvette. <laughs> yeah, the, the rebels with no resources that were like the ragtag group. <laughs> <laughs> just, just could you know, put together a perfect prosthetic hand flawlessly. You know, in just instantly. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you know, you have to develop the skill somehow. <laughs> we're actually surprisingly not that far from that. No, they're getting their mind control of uh, robotic appendages. I know. It's, all that. We're like 20 years. We're only like, you know, maybe 20 years away from that. Did I, I ever tell totally you? am going to get a second set of arms. That way I can cosplay <laughs> Goro. Yes. <laughs> like old out of shape Goro, but Goro. <laughs> now, if you work out a bunch, we can just call you my champ, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Roderick Machamp. That's right. <laughs> now, now, now we got your D and D character, Scrodrick Machamp, who rides a zombie horse and has four arms. <laughs> and, and like, and no I have to cut off my horse. lower arms because the zombie horse keeps biting them, and then they're replaced yes. by perfect robotic replicas. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. You, you travel with an artificer who's constantly making new limbs for the stockpile. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll play the artificer, man. That's perfect. <laughs> more yeah. right arms than left, because I have more mishaps with that one. Yes. <laughs> it's because of where you keep your lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> next uh, week, next week, Highway 47 does D&D. Actually, you know, it's not a bad plan. <laughs> well, remember, next weekend, I won't be available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, it, we, you know, like we were saying, we, we are, we're going to have time to make content, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh, it, God. Might, it might not be too bad of an idea to, to start a D and D podcast, you know? Um, speaking of that, I did speak to, um, our benefactor said he might be interested in doing that if we do it at Saturdays at two o'clock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> I shall be sleeping. <laughs> um, Draco Funky usually works Saturdays too, so he couldn't join. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out sometime. Yeah. If you're interested in playing D and D with us, send an email to Highway Forty Seven Productions at Gmail dot com. So, um, I, I did a thing where I emailed us to say feel the love, and I got an auto response that I was the first one. <laughs> so you could be next in line. <laughs> so um harry potter crockpot recipes was our first email yes uh, all right well we night, hope you everybody. enjoyed crawl enjoy us next time see you later have a good day or else <laughs> don't get coronavirus good night everybody good night good night